I've been getting asked a lot of questions about how to change their elastic on their new slick catapults. And now the accessories have come in uh, to stock for the catapults, I thought no better way than to show you on the bank because it is a little bit trickier than the normal um, hollow core uh, catapult elastics where this is a solid elastic so it's a little bit more fiddly. So hopefully this video will show you how to change it and how to change it properly. Right, first of all, I'm going to change, as you can see there, the 2.5mm, the medium elastic, which I use a lot on one of the catapult frames. Carefully, when I say carefully, take out or open the packaging and you'll find you've got two new lengths of the solid 2.5 elastic fitted with the connectors at the end. Now worth just checking but they should be that your elastics are the same length because it's very important as you can see they are perfect. So feed the elastics through your frame, pull it into position, same the other side feed them through and pull them into position. Now this is the tricky part, as you can see the end of the elastics are slightly cut at an angle. Now this enables them to go into the little buttons that pull into the pouch. And if I offer one up, you can see here, if I try and offer that through there it's, some, it's a little bit difficult to push it in so what I recommend you do is cut it more pointed. So if I chamfer that back more, like that, I'm making a more pointed piece of solid elastic that should go through the little button easier. See how much I've pointed that? And I'll do the same to the other side. So I repeat the process. All you do is just angle the scissors further down at an angle so you're chamfering more of a point on that solid cat pole elastic. You can see that's a little bit fiddly, but there I've chamfered it more, more of a point. Let's give it just a little bit more. There we go, that's perfect. Now, very importantly, feed that through your pouch first. Then pick up one of the little buttons that pull into the pouch. You can see the hole there, I'm trying to hold it up. And if I push that through, it's enough for me to grab and just simply pull it on to the solid piece of the cat pot elastic, just like that. Now I'm going to repeat the same the other side. And this is very important because you must keep the lengths of elastic the same. So you've got the same length either side of the frame coming down to the pouch because if it's lopsided you'll fire them out at an angle. So I'll just repeat the process now and put the button, the little connecting button, as you see if I push that through because it's angled it goes right through and I can hold it and just pull it onto the solid catapult elastic. So there you are, if I hold it up you can see both ends I've pulled the buttons through. Now what I'm going to do now is just pull to try and make sure it's the right length coming out each side. That's very important you can see there. Let's, let's just go a little bit more actually to make it easier because I can tie a small knot so you need enough to help you manage tying knots. So let's put them together. They are now the same size. And I'll simply repeat what I'm going to show you now. I'll do an overhand knot. I'll pass it through and I'll pull it up tight to the button. But before I pull it, I'm going to wet it. Now I'm going to pull both sides together as tight as I can and again as tight as I can. Really hard. Then I'll repeat the process. Another overhand knot. Pull it really tight. Pull the button down. Pull it really tight on there. Now I'll repeat the same this side. Overhand knot. Pull it up slowly. Just wet it. 
so it goes and then pull both sides at the same amount of strength and I'm pulling that knot down tight onto that little button and I'll repeat the process again a double knot so that's two overhand knots I've done each side onto the button pull it again pull it really tight and the reason you're pulling it tight you're making that knot on that little button smaller so it pulls into the pouch then simply cut very neat to the knot then repeat the same on the other side cut very close and neat to the knot make sure it's sort of centre on that button pull it down to the pouch try and ease it in there and then pull it pull the button pull the elastic so it pulls the button into the pouch like that there you are same the other side just pull it it pulls into the pouch and if I hold that up that's hanging exactly the same each side of the frame and that way when I pull back and fire it will fire them in a straight direction of where I'm aiming to whereas if it's lopsided one side's going to pull more than the other and they'll go at an angle and so when you're trying to put bait on your float or the position you want to pull it at it's going to go to the left or pull to the right depending which side is shorter than the other but doing that procedure is so simple very important I'll just reflect on what I've done I cut an angle on the elastic because it's not a holocore it's thick cut it at a slight angle to make it more pointed and you feed it through the little buttons that pull into the pouch more easily and make sure it's the exact length each side coming down that when you pull it through the button that if you're going to work with say a two inch piece of elastic it's two inches coming out of the button each side and then do the knot wet it and pull it equally so it pulls down on the pouch so you know the other side repeat the process exactly the same two overhand knots and you've got the exact length coming down each side of the the frame otherwise if you muck around and pull it up a bit more you won't have the right angle coming down one side will be longer than the other and it won't fire right but if you watch that video just watch it over you can see how I cut it at an angle pass it through keep both sides of the elastic coming down from the catapult from the frame equal make sure they're equal before you put them in but they should be they come cut at the correct length so they're both the same and you'll have no problem it's as easy as that but don't try and thread the buttons on as the elastic comes just try and angle it a little bit more because it makes it easier it will go through but it's hard if you've got real big fingers it's hard to get hold of if I've got little fingers I can but I even still chamfer it a little bit more to pass it through and it's easier then to work with so follow those step-by-step -step guide and you'll have no problem